Hello, uh, I am mostly writing and pieces of paper uh, when there is a flow that comes through and this is uh, comes from the place of my research and uh, sometimes I have uh, the easiest reach to pieces of paper but uh, later on I have understood that this is also a way of working and uh, the same way one is uh, choosing the canvas to paint on or uh, creating our own uh, material uh, or different alternative uh, surface or use actually the no, no surface at all uh, using the space and this is also here and there uh, putting a text on through the flow at your easiest reach has been a, a, almost a method of writing for me as if the written is uh, flows better when the surface that holds the words are uh, experimental surface so through these i somehow let's say uh, also dance it's a way of dancing by hearing so that writing on um, an experimental surface which we cannot even take its physicality for granted because apparently uh, because of its being uh, a non-valuable uh, surface of any uh, and, and a discovery on its own as a surface to write on uh, creates a, a type of fluidity uh, and gives that assigns that to the body that is uh, somehow uh, making uh, the words by its movement and by its uh, flexibility fluidity uh, hearable and through which uh, meaning arises in a sense not in a literal sense but in a transmissive uh, and transformative way which is what amazes me and that which i would like to present examples of writing from uh, by reading it here now um, and showing the millions <laughs> of surfaces millions just a way of saying uh, so uh, countless surfaces that I've been writing on many ways and then uh, also the research about it that if it, it's possibility to, to assign and by assigning creating um, or better manifesting uh, the assigned space uh, that holds that uh, preserves this uh, this sonic element if you will i can say text but uh, i'm not even sure actually where precisely so comes from no need but i am more uh, addressing to the pointing at to the possibility and they are some to most uh, to the experience experientially I, I, I soften it by calling possibility but this is the experiential truth about it that it's not a causal text so it doesn't arise from a, um, a logical uh, conceptualization and verbalization of it the, the, the verbalization of it is some kind of uh, through a nonverbal uh, dialogue uh, which 
almost is a resonance and uh, that hits a surface. Uh, it's um, a frequency, a, a tuning, if you will, of a body tuning, uh, which makes, uh, initiates and is initiated by uh, letters which combine through the free will, by free will, and uh, by the particularity uh, and the uniqueness of the body-mind. And, uh, and present its uh, timeless space. So within that, it, it, it is its own poetry, where um, without thoughtless, through that to thoughtless, without any thought uh, requirement, a dualistic thought thinking, uh, uh, effortlessly its word flows, and it's always a love word. It is always a a word of love uh, because uh, of the fact that it comes from the uh, heart. Uh, this is, it is not uh, symbolically said. It really is the heart of the universe. It's a cosmic uh, seeing. It's a cosmic gazing that makes one one, which is the unition point is um, unconditional understanding, uh, which is all uh, giving and uh, it is enlightening the whole uh, cosmos by making a unique picture, an epitome of uh, the uniqueness of the body, mind, uh, self that um, sees that. I'm trying to meditatively present these words. It's not written somewhere. And uh, so that needs its non-dual uh, embodiment as well. And um, I hope to read this text, but also would uh, do that in another session perhaps because this is very important for me to be able to pronounce now in this words it's also a way of my uh, yoga <laughs> uh, I, I think well thank you for listening if you did it so far thanks <laughs>